Hey guys, Editor Lane here. Before we get to into today's video, I just want to put a little disclaimer in saying that some of the recordings in this episode ended up being super laggy for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why I didn't record anything differently than I normally do. No extra programs were open, nothing. So I'm not really entirely sure why it is being uh, a bit laggier than normal in places. You'll just have to bear with me. And uh, I'll leave a timestamp down at the bottom in the uh, description in case you guys just want to skip to the end to see the results overall um uh, the lag seems to die down the most towards the end and in various areas of the video so feel free to watch all of it please do watch all of it but i will leave a timestamp down to the end for the uh, results if you want to see those but uh yeah so i guess with that out of the way it's time to get into the video Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Lane and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're doing something a little different and we are doing a build battle with my good friend and fellow uh, YouTuber, Winter Wendigo. How you doing, bud? How are you doing? I'm doing great. Alright, so uh, Wendigo here has looked at a uh, reference image for us, which should be on screen right up there. You guys should see it, hopefully. You uh, you see it, right? Right there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's right there. It's just right in front of you. Yeah, right there. All right, so I guess with that out of the way, it's uh, time to get started. All right, so as you can see by the uh, reference image, we are doing a medieval-style build, which is something that I am fairly uh, good with. It's something that I'm used to kind of building with. I just, uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know. This build looks a bit complicated, but I am willing to give it a try and uh, see what we can figure out. I just don't know the exact color combination I want to do just yet. Um... Yeah, so give me a minute to kind of ponder on that. All right, I think I've got a bit of a color palette now in mind for this, and uh, I think this is going to be what we go with. So around the bottom of the build, you can kind of see cobblestone going around the walls, and you can see the uh, darker wood type going around the edges. So I'm thinking of sticking with something like this and using uh, calcite and diorite for some of my walls. And honestly, I'm not really sure if this will stick for the roof or not, the, uh, the copper, but... This, I think, seems to be the closest color to what is on that roof, so I guess when we actually get there, we'll try it out and see what happens. But, uh, yes, I'm going to go ahead and get started on getting a foundation in order real quick. And with that out of the way, I get started on the frames, adding in the walls, and basically just the front facade of the building itself using dark oak, calcite, diorite, and adding in the little jut outfit on the wall. Alright, I have what I think is going to be... Mainly the front wall. I have not done the other walls just yet, but um, yeah, this is what I've got so far. This palette I actually really do like. It's um, a bit contrasty in terms of all the super dark wood with uh, you know, all the white blocks. But I don't know. I really like it. I think it's cool. Uh, for me, the hard part was getting this area over here because uh, well, in the image it juts out a little bit further than the rest of this, and well, because of the proportions and everything, I just kind of had to do this to make it work. And, I mean, I don't know, I like it. It works. I think it'll be good. This next part of the video is pretty uneventful, yet it was probably the longest recording out of uh, my recordings anyway. But, uh, essentially what I did was I went ahead and added in the roof to the jut out bit on the front wall using copper blocks. And, uh, well, I messed up and I used unwaxed copper. So I had to go back and fix that later on, and you'll see later in the video that I've missed quite a bit of it. And I went ahead and added in the sidewalls and other jut out bits and stuff like that to it, and went ahead and did the rest of the roof as well. What did you do down there? Oh no, it didn't work. It did. It's not. Oh, hold, hold on. <laughs> what are you doing I, down I, there? I, I, oh no, I missed. Oh no, <laughs> this completely failed. Uh, um. <laughs> Uh, get it, get out of the way, chickens! <laughs> Dang it, man! Uh, come on, I think I I know what happened. Don't worry, I I'll, I'll fix this. Um, get oh no, this didn't. Oh no. Um, there there we yeah. And now and oh, okay, I'm just uh, I'm, I'm gonna just stop. Uh, um, I may have failed. You can uh uh. I may have been trying to play a little uh, practical joke, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> and it failed. Were you I trying was gonna to like, launch chickens? Yeah. <laughs> up here. <laughs> well, well, all right then. Now I've just got a horde of chickens under my base. Uh, I'll take care of it. Don't worry. 
don't worry i'll take care of it i'll make it it'll be it'll be humane it's it's very humane oh oh wow that's loud <laughs> very humane oh you can hear oh no, no you don't 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 look <laughs> a little too late for that humane. it's it's uh well now i gotta kill you there's no witnesses all right it's been a few hours now of building and chatting and yeah this is just about what i come up with i missed a roof up there so let me elaborate real quick i put on the uh the copper roofs and uh well i didn't use the wax ones so i'm having to go back and uh We'll correct some of this but overall i've got the uh the actual house itself shaped up i don't have any uh detailing other than the textured walls yet and um the back is also super super flat i don't really know what i'm gonna do with this just yet i'm gonna figure something out i hope maybe not because frankly nobody's really gonna see the back too much but um yeah so i do have most of this done excluding the interior the interior is uh gonna be a little bit bigger than i'm used to decorating so that's also going to be a uh, a challenge but that of course is kind of the point of this series is to uh challenge yourself and learn to kind of build kind of on your own and uh you know use reference images and just try to get out of your comfort zone when you build so that's kind of what this is about so uh now that i've got this in place it's Time to go ahead and start uh, adding in some details and stuff like that. I'm going to start with the exterior details and then get to working on the interior. Mainly to procrastinate the interior because, um, well, frankly, that, uh, well, the interiors are pretty difficult to do. Yeah, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and get started on adding in a little bit of detailing around here real quick. And I'll, uh, yeah, I'll chat with you guys in a bit. And now I start adding in all the exterior detailing, like windows, window sills, adding in flower pots with various flowers just to give it a little bit more color. And I surround the flower pots with dark oak trap doors just to kind of uh, break it up a little bit more. And overall, that's basically all I did with the exterior aside from uh, little flower pots with the, uh, the composters and the leaves. All right, so I have done plenty of work on the outside of this place, and I think it looks much better with all of the details and stuff like that. I feel like I might have went a little overboard with all the dark oak. I might could have uh, did something a little bit different. But uh, I don't know. I do like it. The, this is not final. I might change a couple of things before uh, before I'm finished with this. But I did go ahead and add in a little bit of a pathway up here. Not that uh, I needed it. Or not that it was in the reference image either. But uh, yeah, I did at least add in the pathway. And I just kind of went crazy with the bone mill. because. Uh, you know, I tend to do that. And um, I also put banners up here on the front with intent on uh, labeling them. But I do not yet know how to do letters on the, uh, on the banners. So that's going to be something I Google once I get finished with all of this and uh, get that going. But um, yeah, so I did add in a bunch of flower pots. I added in some greenery on the outside of it as well. You can even see I went ahead and started a little bit of the interior. And... Um, I added in the little storage area to the left side of it. And uh, the back side is going to be a little bit bare. But I think it'll be okay. I think it's going to be fine. And uh, yeah, I keep finding random copper blocks that I missed with the wax. So I'm still fixing that. But uh, yeah, I have pretty much did most of the detailing out here that I want to do. So I, uh, I think this is just about good for now. But... Um, yeah, so essentially what I did was the reference image had these uh, little uh, walls kind of jutted out like that. So I found a way to kind of make it proportionate and uh, do the same thing here using uh, slabs and stairs and stuff like that. And I basically did that on a lot of these little jut outs like this. That, in my opinion, is an underrated part of building. I see a lot of people forget that they can do this especially when you have builds of this size. So uh, it was definitely nice to actually try that myself for a change. And I actually really like how it looks. So that's pretty cool. And uh, another thing that I'm thinking of trying is, and we'll try this right here, I guess, is seeing about adding a little bit more depth that way. I think that could be pretty cool. I might actually go back in and uh, do that here in a minute, but for now, I'll just change it and let it be normal. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's 
it for out here just about. I think the roof is missing something. I know there's supposed to be another little thing here, uh, according to the reference image, but uh, I can add that in here in a little bit as well. I do feel like the copper roof is maybe overdoing it, but uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what else to use for the roof, to be completely honest with you. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on the interior, and you can see that I chose uh, mangrove logs for the floor. Between you and me, I have never used mangrove before. I've always collected it and then never used it. So uh, this is going to be a nice change of pace for me, and I'm going to go ahead and start adding in the floors and getting a little bit of a layout going and trying to get this interior going. So, uh, yeah. All right, so I've gone ahead and laid out some of the rooms in here, and uh, yeah, I really tried to minimize some of the space that I had to fill in here because honestly, there was just way too much room and uh, not enough ideas, and frankly, that would probably take me forever to figure something out. So I had to go ahead and start making a uh, little bit of a staircase going all the way up. It's going to go up uh, to the different levels. And in here, I've got this little room, and I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do with it yet. And um, up here is going to be another little uh, room of some sort. I don't really know what I'm going to do here just yet. Uh, probably going to split this off into several different rooms, because uh, the idea that I had in mind originally for this place was for it to be a bit more like a uh, an inn of sorts. It could be more like a um, a hotel or something like that. So that's kind of the goal, and I'm gonna see if I can uh, you know, squeeze in enough rooms here to justify this really big building uh, to be an actual hotel. So yeah, uh, well, back to the grind. All right, I've finally finished up the interior, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I just kind of threw something together. I'm uh, yeah. I'm not the greatest with interiors, as you guys know. If you've seen my survival videos, you know I've mentioned that a time or two. But I've got a basic little setup here. Over here, I've got a little bit of a uh, divided waiting area with a TV or whatever. This is supposed to be like an inn or a hotel or something. So this is a, it's like a little lobby waiting area. I've seen them in my local hotels, so I don't really uh, you know, know how common that is or not. But... And I've also got one out here that's just for the uh, people that are getting in and out. And then just something here to kind of make the uh, wall not so bland. And we've also got these... Okay, well, I, it grabbed me a player head. We've got these micro blocks installed on a resource pack from the Wandering Trader. And I grabbed the white concrete one and put it on top of an end rod. And it looks a bit more like a modern lamp. Which I'm aware this is supposed to be more of a medieval style build. But I... Oddly enough, feel like it fits in here, so I'm leaving it. Don't judge me. And uh, then you can see I also added in the obvious greenery and uh, some carpets and stuff like that. But I also added... Oh, and the flower pots. But I also added in this uh, villager who's supposed to, you know, check people in. And, uh, yeah. That's my face on there. Why? I don't know. But it's on there. Um... Yeah, so over here, I've got a staircase leading up, which you guys seen a minute ago, and I'm going to be honest with you, this room, I had no idea what I was doing. None whatsoever. So I just kind of threw something together, and I really don't know what this room is supposed to be. And, uh, well, it looks more like a, uh, a church room, almost, I guess. I don't really know why you would need one of those in here. Uh, I wouldn't even really call it a church room. I don't really know what this is. Maybe uh, maybe they have poetry night here at the hotel. I, I don't know. So, um, yeah, up here, we've got the actual bedrooms. This hotel is, uh, oh, he's, uh, he's getting achievements now. Anyway, yeah, this hotel is a bit, uh, reserved, I guess. There's only four rooms. And I basically just set up these small little rooms, uh, you know, flower pots and greenery everywhere, storage, bookshelves, lanterns, the uh, the kind of basic stuff, nothing too crazy, too fancy. And then there's the storage closet, I guess, because, uh, you know, the uh, janitors got to have somewhere to store their stuff. Oh, he's getting another one. I don't know what he's got going on over there. And uh, 
yeah, there's also two more rooms over here, basically the same kind of layout. Some people might say that this interior is a little lazy. It's just I uh, I suck at interiors, so I just kind of threw something together, and really, it does not look bad. So, uh, again, don't judge me. So, uh, I guess now we're just waiting on Wendigo to finish up his build over there, and uh, yeah, then I guess we can get started on the uh, the reveal and the uh, the tour. You can you can go first. I, I, okay. I'll just, I'll just go oh. like that. I'm a, I'm gonna do a little reveal real quick. Uh, bum, ba -da -bum, bum, 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 bum. Wow. Oh, you went with okay. You went with um, dark oak. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the uh, oh, I messed up on it. Oh, here, oh, got it. Um, yeah, no, I went with the dark oak. I really like the contrast that it has, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it just. It looked all right. I I feel like the wall could have used a little bit more depth, but I mean, there's only so much I could do with it. Yeah, that's true. I uh, this is what I did. I did the uh, diorite and calcite with uh, my uh, original house in my uh, in the and the first episode of my season. That's this is as exactly what I did actually. Except I didn't use dark yeah. oak. I used spruce wood. But and then the well, I mean, I like the way spruce looks against it too. I just mm -hmm. I feel like the uh, the dark oak matched it was better. a bit closer to the uh to the reference image and it did match it a little mm -hmm. better yeah what i really like is uh these walls that jut out like this yeah with uh how i've got them connected you know with the stairs and this one was a little weird mm -hmm. because i wanted this one to be kind of closer to the reference image uh -huh. and uh to get that to happen i kind of had to use the slab so it's at a weird angle mm -hmm. but it works it's really nice oh i completely forgot about the the barrel on the like this side over here with all the the barrels sticking out. I I completely forgot that was a thing. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I did all the uh, exterior stuff first. I just kind of eyeballed it and went with it. The uh, the back of the build is uh, super bland. Oh, <laughs> super bland. <laughs> yeah, you're right about the whole. It looks like a hotel. Yeah, exactly. And you can see some of the copper oh, just... <laughs> right here. <laughs> um. Huh. Yeah, no, I mean, overall, I think it looks pretty cool on the outside. Yeah, I think it looks quite nice. All right, yeah, that's nice. All right, and uh, a, so these like banners inside. was supposed to say uh, Lucky Inn, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I, I couldn't you, figure you out couldn't how to figure put out letters on there. On there. <laughs> yeah, so we're not going to talk about it. Ooh, the and, the um, red on the inside. Yeah, I, I actually really like how the red looks. Who is this? And that there, that is my villager. What? That that is our reception. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is he? <laughs> the nose. The... That that's a shameless plug right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. That, I know the nose threw me off, man. The <laughs> nose almost, threw me off. That's what I was laughing at earlier. It almost looks like your character's like throwing up. Like uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> that's, oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was doing outside whenever I uh, unalived myself. Yeah. Oh my god! And uh, this is what I mean with the, uh, the with the uh, wandering trader mm -hmm. blocks. How I I know it's supposed to be a medieval build, but yeah. I feel like the um I feel like this matched the interior pretty well. Yeah, I I mean that's totally I I can understand that. I like there's plenty of like real life builds that have that are like medieval on the outside and inside it's almost like yeah. modernish. Yeah. So I mean it. And then at first I put in all of these uh chiseled bookshelves mm -hmm. and uh then I forgot that I could actually choose where the books go in. Yeah. There. And that added so much more to it, I think. And then obviously you have to add the greenery and the plants around because uh Cause... otherwise it's going to be a little yeah. little bland. And then this is like a little waiting room. I don't know about you, but like in the local hotels around here, you've got a little room like this where there's a little TV and you're uh -huh. just kind of waiting on your, the rest of your people to come check out or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's what this is supposed to be. Yeah, that's nice. I understand. I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice. And then up here... Okay, so before we walk in, <laughs> I had absolutely no idea what I was doing with this room. Mm -hmm. This room is random. This yeah. room was... Uh, I still don't know what it's supposed to be, uh -huh. but yeah. So this is... <laughs> I, I don't know. It's... I'm going to say it's for Poetry Night here at the hotel. Poetry Night? <laughs> poetry Night. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> poetry. And I even uh, I even wrote a little a little thing there. Oh, okay. 
All right. Second plug. Yeah, second plug. <laughs> all right. I got you. You you should yeah, yeah. So sub, sub to Lucky Lane. Go sub to Lucky Lane right now. You should all do it. All right. Let's uh let's keep right. going. And then, Wait a minute. I just... So this is where the actual hotel part comes in. And mm -hmm. this is what I mean about the diorite looking weird against the calcite. Yeah. But there's really not a better block I could have used uh -huh. there. Or at least I don't think there is. And uh yeah, I basically just made rooms, little storage, little uh bookshelves and stuff like that for them to nice. kind of chill with. And over here, there's a little bit of a storage area because uh, the janitor's got to have somewhere to put his stuff. Oh. And, um, yeah, just a couple more rooms. Pretty basic. Nothing fancy. All right, nice. That's basically it. I was, uh, I'm, I'm really happy with it. I think it turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Yeah, I can see it. See, he's even agreeing. He's, he's jumping for joy he's over jumping. there. <laughs> he's jumping. Oh, I can't even look at it. I can't even look at it. That's just... Oh, my... Imagine putting your face on there. Seeing that nose stick through your face. I want... I kind of want to test. Hold up, put put me in survival. Kill me. Kill <laughs> put me. you in survival. Okay, let's do that in the yard. <laughs> I have a sword for you. Oh, you came prepared. Yes, I came prepared. Oh, oh my. Ah, uh, this is odd. A lucky Wendigo. I wasn't expecting this. A lucky Wendigo. Yeah, I'm getting a screenshot of this. It's pretty cool. Oh wait, hold up. I want to go get you. I'm good. I'm grabbing your head, and I'm. We're gonna take a screenshot with each other's heads on. <laughs> okay. It looks so weird it having so odd. my face <laughs> on you. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh man. How do you, okay, wait, I want to know how you got this on the villager. Uh, uh, okay, so what you do is um you kind of block him in and you add a dispenser. All right, and then put a lever on that side and then you'll flick the lever. <laughs> oh, that's so. Oh man, that's so cursed. That's so that, cursed. <laughs> I was not expecting the, the fact that my mouth is just in the perfect play, like the perfect spot. I oh, I know. Oh, he's, oh, a, he's farmer a farmer. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> oh, it's like cutting through my eyes. It's like I have a. Oh man, button. this is the most cursed thing I've <laughs> ever seen in this game. <laughs> <laughs> okay maybe oh we man just, that's that's beautiful maybe, maybe we should just leave leave him alone now i don't i don't want to i don't want <laughs> to when to go him. the villager all right so let's let's see your place so my place uh as you can see i i think i'm pretty happy with it i went with some different kind of blocks i was originally going to go with a similar block palette to you but then i yeah. saw these these right here this is a mushroom stem at the yeah. base here so i went with mushroom stems uh calcite and uh white concrete powder yeah that actually looks really cool i thought about mixing mm -hmm. in the white concrete powder and uh then i kind of textured the wall i forgot i, I can't i can't fly i can't fly oh. <laughs> I <saw it> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> all right there, there we go there. i can fly and then i see this is where i got the tavern and if you can even call that an r you know the r is a bit is a bit I, I interesting. I couldn't <laughs> fix it. That's the best I could do. <laughs> you did better than me. You at least got letters. Oh so mine doesn't have any. Uh, but yeah, so I've got the tavern, and then I went with all of you. Just you know, kind of basic stuff. I didn't go with two. I didn't go with as much detail as you did on the outside, but I did go with these little uh, with the signs on the side. It almost looked like the uh, little bars that they have going across the wooden bars. Yeah, I didn't think about that. And then over here, you know, we got the 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 little roofs and stuff. Yeah, the little jut out roofs. And for the most part, the outside isn't extremely detailed, but I, I th okay, so I came up with the uh the whole vine thing. I saw that Yeah. I didn't do anything with the back. Don't don't mind about the don't worry about the back. <laughs> we're just we're not gonna pay attention to the back of this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> But I saw that the like the plants in the uh, thing looked almost overgrown, so I like added the vines hanging down, and it looks like it's like overgrown plants, and I think it just you know adds in a nice touch of detail. Yeah. So I, I'm sorry. I see that villager out of the corner of my eye. Over here. <laughs> He's just watching us from a distance. Yeah. The uh, the blue windows was also a nice touch too. Mm -hmm. Now, I just did the uh, the black stained glass, but the blue looks pretty cool there too. Mm -hmm. I think the and I thought about doing bricks instead of the copper, but I I don't know. But I feel like the uh, the copper matches my palette a little bit better with the uh, the darker colors. I I agree with that. I agree. I think that would work better. I th went with the um. See, if I went with 
dark oak. I just don't think dark oak in the the bricks would match up too well. Yeah, I don't think it would have. So, but yeah, I think the the bricks like matched up the roof color pretty well. So I think it went pretty well with that. And uh, so yeah, that's yeah. that's the outside. We uh we can uh yeah, I th I think uh like on the uh, cobblestone, mm -hmm. you know, you probably could have added like a little bit of the mossy cobble too. Mossy co oh, and andesite. I just I wasn't too yeah. worried about like the base. I was just kind of trying to get right. it down, but. Right. So yeah, now we. Well, the perfectionist in me was. So. <laughs> I didn't even. I didn't even put grass down. It's all very bare. Yeah. You made no, a I, pathway and everything. I, I went just a little. I, that. Yeah, I went a little overboard with that. <laughs> all right, we can. Uh, but, uh, we can yeah, move so. inside now. So, I went full blown like actual tavern, and I made an actual like, like a you know, so like a, how a tavern this. would be with uh drinks <laughs> yeah. and stuff like that, and those are supposed to be stools, but. You know, I actually really, really like this, mm -hmm. and I really love the, the design yeah, for the lights. Yeah, me that too. is awesome. Uh, me too. I loved these so much; they look so cool. Yeah, that is that is awesome. And then I love the uh, the iron trap doors mm -hmm. on the edge of this. Makes it look like the, yeah, uh, I think the that handle that, for uh, yeah, for a, um, like a keg handle or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty cool. And uh, your use of the micro blocks around here is just awesome too. I didn't <laughs> throw any in mine, but I kind of just. You're using some great. of these around, you know. Well, I mean, that's what they're there for. They are a great thing to have. I didn't. <laughs> I, got, <laughs> I didn't oh, mean to well, do that. I got a player head for you. <laughs> there we go. I, Good I enough. Tried to, there we, <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll just have just Steve on your Steve table now. In there, and then up here, Steve's, he's vibing. We have our next floor where we have our first bedroom in here, which I went with bunk beds because you know, it's bunk beds. So how yeah. could you not love bunk beds? Right, right. And then a little closet um, right here with uh, the oh, oh. Armor made with diamond. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> with a little armor and you know, I think the I I I just I gotta say this. I didn't realize how well the purple and blue matched up. Like that looks. I really didn't cool. think that it would match up that good. I really like that. Yeah, it does look pretty cool. But um, and I forgot all about these pots. Yeah, me too. I I found that out on my last episode of my hardcore series. Was like I was just messing around with this, and I was like, oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> but wait, hold up. Did yeah, that... one thing. I... Wait, they float. Wait, can you place yeah. pots without them breaking? I thought they broke. If you like, oh, that's not what I grabbed. I tried to grab the pot. Okay, what else? Well, whatever. Anyway, one thing that I learned recently is like these. If you grab these, the pressure plates oh, and stuff what? like that fit perfectly on top. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's so there cool. are so many uh, neat blocks that actually fit on the inside of this, and it is, it's unreal. Like uh, the end rods and stuff like that, they Ooh. they go perfectly with this. Yeah, like I, so, I seen I a video just... on it earlier. I'll uh, when I, if I can find it again, I will send you the link. That is that is so cool. That's such a good idea, though. All right, so now we can run down this little hallway. Got some bookshelves. You see what I mean about the crafting table? Yeah, dude, the, the mini really crafting cool. table that looks sick. Mm -hmm. And over here, I did a little thing with a lamp over here, some swords and stuff, and then we got, you know, got coral. Always got to always gotta have coral. coral. You have to have coral. I have to have. It's just, it's a necessity at this point. And, absolutely. And then we have another little room here that's just kind of, you know, some stuff. It's nothing too important, but... And we got... I mean, it's still a pretty decent looking little room. I really mm -hmm. see what you mean about you just plastered these things all around. They're literally everywhere. <laughs> And then up here, I see. I feel like you need to add this in your world now. Yeah, <laughs> up here I kind of <laughs> ran out of creativity, so I just kind of went with this, plastered some tools up on the wall, put some blocks everywhere. Yeah, the little gold block. And then uh, there's a uh, there's this room over here. You should uh, you should check out that room. Oh, find the the six mini chests. There's six of them. That's not that one's not counted. There, there's six oh. of them hidden around. Oh. A mini game in this a now. Mini game, yes. Oh. Okay, so are they in areas of the build? Uh, well, there's <laughs> there's one right there. One? Yep. Uh, would they be in areas that are typically not visible? <laughs> there's one like that's in your like your attic. Not visible? No, no. Like there's. And then there's another one yep, there. Yeah, there's two. I I think you saw. Yeah, you saw that one in Three. there. Yep. There's a uh, one. There's two more on this floor. I'll say that. Two more on this floor. There's one in this room that you kind of have to... Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you, you find that one pretty easily. Yeah. 
All right, now there's there's one more. Well, on this the floor. thing about me is when there's uh, something to press, I'm gonna press it. <laughs> Buttons are a necessity to press. Yes, one hundred percent. Yep, there you go. There's there's that one, <laughs> and then there's one more down okay. here. This one's some pretty easy, but oh, yeah, yeah right, right over here. here. That's all, all six. Yep. Yeah, I thought I thought I'd seen that here. Little mini game. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. That's pretty cool. Meanwhile, I got shameless plugs and shameless plugs. <laughs> There's... I was fully expecting to come in here, and you have your name plastered, plastered everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. Hold on, I, I can fix that for you real quick. Oh, how did that get there? I, how did that? Oh no, man, that, wasn't how did, in my that just appeared. How did that get here? That just I had appeared. Magically appeared. You, you should totally do that, though. Like, right? That's, that's yeah, one hundred percent. Right now, you you guys have got to go do this. Got to go do that, as well as uh, as 100, as well yeah. as doing the other thing that's like right next to the subscribe button. You know, the the like button. Like, shouldn't they? Shouldn't oh, yeah, they just the hit like that? Button. Like right now, automatically. Just, just smash. The anytime like they click your video, they automatically should do yeah, that. Yeah, totally, totally. That's definitely something that they should do. And even leave a comment, even if they don't watch the video. Even leave a comment. Anything. It could be anything. You could call me a uh, a stinky person, and uh, it's it's a comment. It's uh, never don't. It helps the algorithm. Don't, don't call me a stinky person, please. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, all right. So that's that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I really like your interior. I think your interior was better than mine, to be honest with you. It's really, really nice. I'm quite happy with both of ours. They look really good. So if you guys enjoyed today's uh, video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And uh, make sure you go and subscribe to his channel and uh, go see the video from his perspective as well. <laughs> Those derpy eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. It just looks so good, don't they? <laughs> yeah, it looks perfect. Uh, yeah, you guys definitely uh, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and uh, go and uh, check out his channel and do all the things for him as well. And uh, check out the rest of his uh, videos as well, his hardcore series and uh, all of that. His hardcore series is where I started watching him, and I've loved his content ever since. So you guys definitely have got to go check it out. Yeah, if you guys want to see anything else like this, uh, you know, please be sure to let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to do this again, whether it's uh, with Wendigo or if I bring Izzy back or if we get another uh, another YouTuber in here. I'd love to, you know, keep this series going. I think it's uh, bringing out the the best and the worst in us, for sure. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.